Welcome to my channel everyone. Today we are going to be doing a what good news is coming in for you in November pick a card. So for pile one we have it's time to take action new moon in Aries and your psychic linking object is this aura treated little moon here. For pile number two, we have what do you need to release? Weaning moon with the silver coated black kyanite pendant. And then for pile number three, we have work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio with this cute little black obsidian heart. Alrighty, if you need more time to choose your pile or piles, feel free to pause the video and I will see you in your readings. Bye! Welcome my lovely pile ones. If you chose, it's time to take action, new moon in Aries with this cute little moon, then this is going to be your reading. So we are asking Spirit today, what good news is coming in for you in November? So let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit, what good news is coming in for our lovely Pile Ones in November? Please and thank you. Wow, we have the magician to start, okay? Power action skill. It's time to take action, right? What good news is coming in for pile one? The Hierophant. What good news? Oh my gosh, we had a spill. The creator. Okay, so um, we had a couple other cards fall out, but we are going to hold off on those. Let's get two more for this top row. What good news is coming in November for pile number one? Wow, these are just insane cards. So we have the Magician, the Hierophant, the Creator, Judgment, and the Nine of Wands. So the Creator in this deck is an extra card it has the mother star and the creator in it they're like yes no cards but um i mean the creator it, i mean intuitively it doesn't feel like a no card to me <clears throat> but right away it feels like Some good news coming in for you here is going to be like a level up in something that you're doing here. What is this magician? The Four of Wands. What is this Hierophant? The Eight of Cups. What is this creator card? The five of wands. Judgment. The moon. What is this nine of wands? Please and thank you. The wheel of fortune. Alright, pile number one. So it feels like
something that you have been working really hard and diligently on is about to shift dramatically here for you. Like, your destiny is shifting in the month of November. There's something that you're going to get um, some sort of like an inspired action to do in the month of November and spirit wants you to follow that calling okay like you're gonna have some sort of an awakening or some sort of a metamorphosis on an area that was very dark and unclear to you something that felt it just felt really um, shadowy. Now, some of you... Quite literally could be... manifesting a new partner here it feels like you have left behind some sort of a commitment here and it feels like maybe there is a new commitment or union coming in for you but it's definitely something that you're inspired to do. Now, let's uh, keep going here. Can we get some more information on what this good news is for pile number one? We have the star and the hermit here. The hanged man. Okay, some of you definitely, this is something to do with love here. <clears throat> it feels like some of you either have recently gotten out of a commitment. And it's like you've taken this time to really heal yourself and to heal the shadowy parts of you. <clears throat> and now things are shifting in a huge way for you. It feels like some of you are um, getting this good news that the person that you want to be with has the same feelings as you here. And it's like... It's like you're now seeing love and relationship in a whole new perspective. For others of you, <clears throat> it feels like you have received some sort of an achievement or an award here based on your knowledge and expertise in a particular situation here. And it feels like you're now being recognized in a whole new light here. Some of you, if the love thing doesn't <clears throat> resonate, then it feels like you are going to be recognized for this hard work and potential that you have put into something here. It feels like you definitely have sacrificed quite a bit in your life. But now it's like things are coming into balance, into harmony. Now, <clears throat> let's see 
if we have any universe mystery messages what good news is coming in for pile one in november please and thank you intuition the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later What good news is coming in for pile one? There's something that you intuitively knew about already and it's like you set yourself up to dodge these red flags. We have let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Exactly. There is some sort of either this is a new relationship or like a new a level up in your business or your personal happiness and healing. Something is coming in for you here that you have manifested. And it's like you're walking away from darker energies that you have had to deal with. What good news is coming in for pile one? Moving, change of residence, moving in with your partner. Some of you could be um, also... Moving locations here. This could be work, home, residence. Um, moving in with a new partner. Take it how it resonates. We have honeymoon. Honeymoon phase. Attending someone's wedding. Yeah, some of you also might get... Um, again, wow, this could also be, like I said, some sort of a marriage or a commitment here for you. Um, some of you are really feeling like it's the right time to move your connection to somebody or something here forward. This is quite interesting. Now, let's close out with some Moonology cards here. Can we close out for pile number one? Meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. Closing messages for pile number one. Be bold and make the first move. Yeah, there's something here that you are being called to do. Balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Now I feel like I want to get one more. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Alrighty, well hopefully you enjoyed your quick little reading here this resonated for you feel free to comment down below and let me know what it means to you thank you so much for stopping by just saw 1331 on the clock and i will catch you all on the next one bye pile one welcome pile two if you chose what do you need to release waning moon with this cute little um kyanite broom clearing broom then this is going to be your november what good news is coming in so let's go ahead and jump right in here spirit what good news is coming in for pile two We have the Eight of Wands. Good news, travel. Okay, well, that's beautiful to start. The Hermit Healing Solitude Inner Work. What good news is coming in for Pile 2? So I'm just checking these. The Hanged Man, we have Waiting, Rebirth, Sacrifice, Reflection, Three of Pentacles, Enterprise, Success, Talent, and Teaching. 
What good news is coming in for pile number two? The moon it says dream, intuition, shadow. What is this Eight of Wands? Justice. Balance, equality. We got the King of Pentacles that came out. Reliable, visionary, generous. What is under this hanged man? Oh my lord. I'm not taking any of these. <laughs> Hang on, out to you. What is this hanged man for pile number two? Eight of swords. Frustration, anxiety, trapped. Seven of pentacles under the three of pentacles. What is this moon? The devil. Desire, obsession, fear, shadow, okay. So, pile number two, right away, it feels like a lot of you are releasing yourself from something that was stuck on your mind here. Maybe you felt physically stuck. But you just kept having these racing thoughts about whatever this is for you. And I feel like your good news coming in November is this message, this good news that you have been waiting for, driving yourself absolutely crazy here, like obsessively thinking about this good news is coming in for you. So it's coming in a lot faster than you currently are anticipating. Maybe it's taking some time leading up to it, but uh, this news is coming in for you really quick. Um, it's almost like in November you have a contract that comes in that you need to sign, but Spirit really wants you to... Um, Really read the fine print, look into it here. Um, there's going to be nothing shady, but Spirit still wants you to like mind, mind your you know P's and Q's here. Make sure you know what you're signing. <clears throat> but um, it's going to be the start of a very successful situation for you. A lot of you, um, it feels like you had a lot of obsessive thoughts about this. And I mean, this could have been like subconsciously obsessing over this, but it feels like this good news, it feels like possibly some sort of a job offer is coming in for you this month, meaning November. This is definitely something that you are wanting to commit yourself to. Tell me more about this good news that is coming in for pile two the four of pentacles stability saving foundation money security so this good news is going to help you stabilize yourself more especially if you've been looking for work it's definitely coming in for you <clears throat> Ooh, then we have the magician here. Power, action, skill. Yes. This king of pentacles who is giving you this job offer is seeing you as very skilled here. You have everything that they are looking for. Um, it's almost like you make things look effortless, like magic. What else do we have for pile number two? We have the two of pentacles here. It says harmony, balance. 
Yeah. You, once this message or this offer comes in for you, this good news, it's going to really balance out your situation here. You're not going to feel stressed out. You're not going to feel stuck in your head. We have the Seven of Cups here. We have Choice and Instinct. Some of you are going to have to make a, an important choice here come November. Now, this is something that you're really needing to listen to your your gut instinct about what is going to feel good what's going to you know what excites you we have passion and extremes here what is going to be super exciting and enticing to you it feels like some of you might need to release like an old job here or like an old thought pattern or an old way of doing something and it feels like it feels like come November <coughs> excuse me come November here something big is going to be coming in for you it says reward success completion this is the world. This is like you, you feel like you have achieved something major. It's like you have overcame whatever these dark obsessive thoughts were. <clears throat> it's almost like you surrender to the outcome. And it's like as soon as you surrender to the outcome is when these messages came right away for you. Now also these two flipped over. We have the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups. It says, family, friends, joy, abundance. And then it says, love, relationships, beginnings. So, whatever this new beginning is for you, you are definitely going to be making and meeting new friends here, which is so beautiful. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's see if we can get some universe mysteries here to see what other good news is coming in for you, pile two. Just saw two, 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 eight on the clock. We have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. Yeah. So, um, if there is anything that, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> anything in a contract that you are receiving that you don't like, or anything you have questions about, ask your questions, work it out, figure it out with this person. We also got open your heart it will help you attract more love yes so spirits really wanting you to lighten up about your situation here maybe don't um think so negatively about it we have pets getting a new pet giving a current pet more love maybe you um giving your pet some extra love will help take your mind off of any racing thoughts you have um, let's get one more for this top row. Good news for pile two. <clears throat> okay, I guess not. Um, but let's go ahead and close this out with some Moonology cards. We have a fiery climax approaches, a full moon in Aries. Yes, so something that you have absolutely been waiting for. Emotions are running high, super moon. Yeah, I just feel like this is something you are so freaking excited about. Like, I feel like once this news comes in, you're literally going to be, like, jumping around the house and, like, screaming and borderline crying. <laughs> it says, don't let your past hold you back, south node. Yes, exactly what I was feeling. Don't let anything old hold you back here. Under the deck, we have hold your vision, fixed moon. So something very big and brand new and exciting is coming in for you, my lovely pile number twos. If this reading resonates for you, I would love to know down in the comments what you got going on here. 
Um, thank you so much for stopping by, my lovely pile twos, and the best of luck to you on this beautiful new journey. Thank you, pile twos. Welcome, my lovely pile threes. So if you chose work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio with this black obsidian heart, then this is going to be your November reading. So we're going to be doing what good news is coming in for you in November. So let's go ahead and dive in here. But it feels like this is something that you might have some fear in regards to. <clears throat> but you're going to be working through it for sure. Okay, so right away we have the five of wands. It says competition, debate, defense. These two cats kind of got their tails up, like questioning each other. Uh, next to that, we have the seven of swords. Theft, dishonesty. Dishonesty. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, I recently quit um, nicotine and, and uh, I feel like so sometimes I got a cough, but it's not like I was smoking cigarettes. I was vaping, which who knows if is better or worse. Anyways, let's keep going here. What else do we have for our lovely pile number three? What good news are they receiving? We got the ten of wands. It says burden demands overload. What good news is pile number three receiving? The tower, destruction, enlightenment, release. Wow, something big is happening for you, pile three. <clears throat> Can we get one more for this top row? The king of wands. Honor, standards, wisdom, motivation. Beautiful, okay. So, just on this top row here, pile number three, it feels like you have found out some information about somebody or something here, and you are just, it feels like you have your hands tied here. It feels like your world as you knew it or know it is crashing down here and it feels like there is you don't know what to do but if i mean fast forwarding we have the king of wands here at the end here so i mean you're definitely making it out here this is giving you motivation here it's giving you new wisdom you are having a new respect for yourself and for your life here but this could be uh, in regards to some sort of a lie that becomes revealed to you. What is this five of wands? <clears throat> we have the king of cups. It says charismatic, warm-hearted, intuitive, empathetic. And then we have the ace of pentacles, prosperity, beginning this is what it says what is this ten of wands <clears throat> the empress says luxury beauty harmony abundance grace fertility love nature beauty art what is this tower the Knight of Pentacles. It says prosperity, benefits, investments. This is literally one of my favorite cards in this whole deck. It's so beautiful. What is this King of Wands? <clears throat> we got Temperance. It says guidance, healing, moderation, balance. And then we have Nine of Cups. Extra card. It says happiness, vitality, optimism, and joy. Wow. So for pile three, it's almost like you get some bad news 
that ends up really shifting like the whole trajectory of your whole life into like good news here. Now, <clears throat> there could have been like a water sign that you were competing with about something here. But it was almost like this person was lying to you about some sort of information. This could have been in regards to like a new job offer or a new money making situation here. And it's almost like it's almost like your hands were tied, you know, there was nothing you can do. But you found a way to really grow and flourish regardless. And it's like this tower. <clears throat> this tower broke down this beautiful little castle here. But to rebuild something that's more unique and more worth your time and investments here. And it definitely is putting you in a position of receiving some wish come true here because you have now healed and balanced out your life and your situation. And it's like you've um, worked through this fear that you had. But I'm just curious, what is this five of wands? death it says transformation new beginnings change endings what is the seven of swords the six of pentacles give receive family this could have been like um a family member that lied to you or somebody that you considered like family here what did they lie about What did they lie about? <clears throat> Security, stability, saving, foundations. Maybe somebody lied to you about <clears throat> something to do with like a certain income or certain money that you were promised here. And it's almost like it left you feeling heartbroken. What is this Ten of Wands? <clears throat> the Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's almost like you had to put boundaries up to this person or this situation here. You work through your fears and you you put boundaries over yourself. We have um, the Devil clarifying the Tower here. There's that fear. Wow, there's you breaking down this fear, quite literally. What is this tower? Justice, balance. Yeah, it's like some kind of like karmic justice comes in to help balance out your situation. What is this king of wands here? We have judgment. Yes, it woke you up, whatever the situation was. It woke you up. What is this king of cups? The star. Yeah, it like restored faith in your like... Like this ending brought healing and some form of a miracle in for you. It restored your... Um, emotion emotional body here yeah it like helped you take control of this situation uh clarifying this ace of pentacles here we have the sun so it definitely feels like there is some new opportunity that is coming in for you here this could be a part of this good news what is the sun High Priestess. Yes, this is something that you're being called to do, like an offer you're being called to accept. What is this Empress? We have the Five of Cups, but these three. Two 
Two of Wands. It says plans, partnership, influence, Page of Wands, good news, communication, and the King of Swords. Okay, so <clears throat> at a time of despair in the month of November, where maybe some of you put went to an interview or went to an application or did something here to put yourself out there, and some of you feel like your results aren't going to be so great here, but lo and behold here, this King of Swords is going to come in and give you an offer to choose from. You might even be able to pick um, which position you want if this is in regards to a job. Um, it's definitely something to do with a new journey here, but it totally changes your whole um, situation up. What is this? Knight of Pentacles? The Three of Wands. Yeah, adventure, luck, action. It's like you are seeing things now finally come into fruition here. It's like you're in awe. You're like, oh my god, it's actually happening right now. <laughs> Um, we have the Six of Wands. Yes, victory, triumph, and glory. You are going to be seen. You're going to be recognized. You're going to be noticed here. Whoa. Clarifying the um, Nine of Cups, we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Nine, nine. Some of you are really closing the door on an old chapter here, and you're starting a new fulfilling chapter in your life. The Ten of Pentacles also showed face. We had a few flip out that I'm not taking. Uh, but this is really beautiful energy here. Now, let's go ahead and <clears throat> get a few of these Universe Mysteries cards to see if there's any other messages for you, pile number three. We have Spy. Someone's got their eye on you. You're a you are doing your research. Yeah, somebody is definitely looking into you <clears throat> here. It feels like they want to offer you something, this emperor. What other messages do we have to close this out? What good news is coming in for pile number two? Intuition, the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite you later. I think you already <clears throat> you already know that. I think that's a message of the past. Get one more. Oh, two more is fine. Gambling problems with addiction or gambling bad finances. Oh wow, yeah, that's exactly some. I mean, that was the message that I got. Somebody. <clears throat> Somebody that you're close to lied about something to do with money or a job or some sort of like payment or something here. But in turn, this um, issue turns into this beautiful situation. We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So I definitely feel like there is a, a very important air sign who is going to be coming in for you in the month of... November, you could also be the air sign. We also have earth sign at the bottom. <clears throat> Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Now let's go ahead and officially close this out with a moonology card. We have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. I do believe we have <clears throat> an eclipse this Friday from when it's being recorded or it could be Saturday so <clears throat> but this is um not a timeless reading so but definitely the eclipses have something to do with this whole situation for you we have balsamic moon a time for healing do we want one more no I think that's it oh just kidding. We got a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. What do you need to release? Waning boom. Some of you might also be connected to pile two because this was pile two's card. We also have it's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed your reading, my lovely pile threes. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will catch you all on the next one. Bye, pile three.